Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moonwalk Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here, your continued love and support. I appreciate each and every one of you, those of you that are so kind and supportive uh, down in the comments, those of you that have donated to the channel, as well as those of you that have also booked private readings with me and also continue to just be supportive. Some of you even take the time to send emails. Um, I'm still trying to catch up on those. I know some of you guys have e reached out and emailed to me um, with some really beautiful emails. So just know that I am getting back to uh, responding to those as well. So if you don't have a response from me just yet, just know it's it's coming. <laughs> but I, my schedule can be pretty crazy. So I'm trying to play catch up with all of that. Uh, those of you that would like to book a private reading, you can find my email down below in the description box where you can send me an email and I will provide you on more information on booking readings as well as other services with me. Um, just keep in mind, I will never reach out to you to offer you a reading. If someone is reaching out to you on social media or even in the comments section, just know that it is not me. Um, the only way that you can book a reading with me is by emailing me, okay? I do not book readings over social media. Um, I don't give pricing over social media. Everything is filtered through only the, the single email address uh, that I have, okay? And you can find that in the description box. So today's speaker card reading, we are doing what does this connection? And that is the connection that you're either currently dealing with, the connection on your mind, whatever that situation might be with the person. Some of you could be that you're with the person or that you're broken up with them. I don't know what's going to come through. Okay, we'll just see kind of what will work with whatever energy it is. Um, so this is a general reading. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Not all the messages that come through are going to be for you because it's not a private reading. Okay? So only take the messages that resonate. If it doesn't resonate at all, that's totally fine. Okay? Because I'm, I'm here to help with general readings. And if they resonate for you, that's awesome. If they don't, that's fine too. You can choose a different pile or check out one of the other readings that I have in the playlist. Or you can go through the many um, other readers that are available on YouTube to assist you with whatever it is you've got in your mind. Okay. So what does this connection need from you? Okay. Well, maybe this is looking into something that you're needing to maybe do or say, or like if you're trying to help a collection, uh, connection along, um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see whatever comes through. Okay. So how, what does this connection need from you at this time is what we'll, we'll say. So pile number one, this is the everyday witch tarot. And that is with this little rhodonite crystal. That is going to be for pile number one. Pile number two, which one is this? I think this is the forest of enchantment tarot, right? Yeah, forest of enchantment tarot. And that is with this blue agate for pile number two. And then pile number three is the animal totem tarot. And that is with this white howlite. Okay, for pile number three. So once again, what does this connection need from you right now? Okay, the connection that you have on your mind no matter what it is, right? Broken up, together, strained relationship, healthy relationship. <laughs> we'll see what, what energy comes through uh, the reading today, okay? So if you were listening to it and doesn't really feel like your situation, um, then you can go back and choose a different pile. Just like I said, keep in mind, this is a general reading, okay? If it doesn't fit, don't try to force it to fit, okay? <clears throat> if you need a little bit more time to meditate on the piles, the crystals, whatever one you feel is calling to you in the most. Timestamps are down below and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, Pal One. So those of you that resonate with this little rhodonite crystal, this is going to be a reading. So we're finding out today, what does the connection on your mind what does it need from you at this time? Okay. What does this connection need from you right now? Oops. Okay. 
what is this connection made from pile number one right now, spirit? We have justice. Hmm. What does this connection need from pile number one right now? Knight of Wands in reverse. We've got the Empress in reverse, right? Is that the Empress? Yes, the Empress in reverse. Two of Swords. And the Three of Cups. Okay. Queen of Wands. What does this connection need from you right now? Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands. The Moon. And the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So what does this need from you right now? I mean, I am seeing that we have both the Empress and the, and the Queen of Wands here. Only our Empress is in reverse. When the Empress is in reverse, this can be about us being in a place where we're, we're either very detached, disconnected from our feelings and our emotions, meaning that we could be putting up a wall. Um, we can also be very clingy, attached. Um, it can be very like a very needy energy, right? So the main thing that I'm seeing here with the Major Arcana, you have the Justice card, you have the Moon, and then we have the Empress in Reverse. I feel one thing that's clear, and it may not be for all of you, but one thing that I'm seeing that this connection needs from you may be... I uh, feeling some of you might have fears about abandonment, or you could be healing something here. Like maybe a fear of rejection, a fear of abandonment. Because with the Justice card, this is about balance, right? And that Empress in Reverse is not balanced. So it makes me feel for you as a person, what this connection needs is for you to be in a place where this Empress is in the upright, okay? When she's in the upright, she has a lot of self-confidence. She knows her worth. She knows her value. And I'm just saying she because of the energy. It doesn't matter what gender you are. Um, but she, when she's in the upright, yes, she's all about love and openness and receptivity to love. Okay? Um, it's also about being nurturing. Um, nurturing. Because I'm seeing the Five of Pentacles energy here, like I said, some of you might have fears, underlying fears of abandonment. And when we have an underlying fear of abandonment or even rejection, we can become clingy. Right? We can become clingy. We can become very obsessed and attached, codependent. Um, and the Empress energy is self-sufficient. Okay, now if it's the other way around in which you are someone who is very closed off, right? That would be a need for you to nurture yourself, focusing on self-love, focusing on your self-esteem, focusing on your confidence. So basically what this pile is saying, what this connection needs from you is for you to show up as the best version of yourself. That is the best way that I can sum this up. I don't know why it took me five minutes to <laughs> five minutes to think about that but basically that's what it is show up as the best version of yourself pile one okay because when you have more balance here right with inside of yourself and your own energy right look at this queen of wands right she looks fabulous she's got her best gown on she's smoking hot she's got a beautiful bouquet of flowers 
with her, her wand. She's on her amazing dragon that's taking her everywhere she wants to go. There's a little hummingbird here too. I just noticed that. There's a hummingbird in there. The Queen of Wands is a very confident energy. It's very charismatic. It's very passionate. It's very much about you being in your power. So yeah, a lot of this to me is about you being and knowing, right? Especially with the Empress here, knowing your worth, knowing your value, okay? Um, if you feel that your needs are not being met, with the five of pentacles that you're missing something or something's lacking or missing, right? That would also be you going back to that empress energy and deciding, you know, is this something that is this connection something that is making me feel happy and fulfilled? Does the person value me? Um with the moon energy here, this can bring about a lot of doubts, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of insecurities, a lot of anxiety. So it may also be about you in this connection, about facing your fears, because your fears can also be something that affect your relationships and your connections with people, right? The moon is all about our subconscious mind. And so sometimes the things that are in our subconscious can play tricks on us, right? In the same way that we're looking at this moon card here, and there's a little house cat here, but when he sees himself in this little pond, he sees himself as this like, what is that? Like a panther or a jaguar. You know, that's an illusion, right? Seem, things seem seemingly like scary or, um, you know, these fears that we could have. So I feel like a lot of this can also be you facing whatever your fears are. Underlying fears or insecurities, right? That you might even have within your side of yourself. Because when we're also, like if we feel not confident enough in ourselves, or we don't feel beautiful or handsome or we have low self-esteem right we need to build up our confidence up to the level of this queen of wands so yeah i feel like a lot of this is about you being in a balanced energy because when you're in a more balanced energy and you're more in control of your own power you're able to see through those underlying insecurities you might have fears that you might have um, I feel like a lot of it is you calling back your power, okay? And also being in a better place when you're in a place of balance for you to be able to also evaluate the connection that you're in, the person that you're dealing with. Because the Seven of Pentacles is us taking a pause to evaluate or reassess the time that we're investing into a connection, right? Is it worthwhile? Is it not worthwhile? Um, the three of cups is a card of harmony, a card of joy and celebrations and, you know, surrounding ourselves with supportive people, having a good time when we're feeling better, right? When we're feeling better about ourselves and more in our power, we put out a different vibration, a different energy. Okay. Um, so some of you may by working right on yourself and building yourself up to the best version of yourself, you radiate, like I said, a different energy. So, you know, maybe it's, it's finding happiness from within for some of you. Um, it's kind of what I would say, but yeah, I feel like really just to kind of like sum it up is like spirit is saying here, what does this connection need from you? is for you to be the best possible version of yourself. You know, open your heart up because sometimes we can say, okay, I want love, but we're completely closed off. Why? Because of things that we may have gone through from past relationships or childhood, things that are kind of unresolved, right? And some of you quite literally can have a fear of abandonment or be healing from rejection, um, you know, or even dealing with someone that, you know, in a, that's you're in the connection with that does have a fear of abandonment, right? It's not your job, right, to, to heal someone. They have to do their own work, just like we have to do our own work, right? Um, but it can be you really taking a look at addressing your own things, your own fears, your own concerns or 
um, things of that nature. Um, I kind of want to um, look at this Empress in reverse a little bit more though. So let's see here. I also feel like with justice here, because justice is, is about balance, um, maybe this can also be you asking yourself, is the connection that I'm in balanced? You know, is it a balanced connection? Let's see. Why is the Empress here? You know, the Empress in Reverse can also be that we need to be more compassionate. Or we can be compassionate towards ourselves, towards others. Um, we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles. And the Star. Okay. Yeah. Maybe for some of you, the star energy here, this can also be about being more optimistic, having trust and faith, you know, in your connection. Again, I'm getting this energy here with the two of pentacles about balance, okay? The star is also about healing. It's about renewal with inside of the self. For some of you, it can be about even getting your spark back with inside of yourself, feeling uh, sexy, you know, <laughs> feeling sexy and you know, doing uh, some self-care, some self-love. Um, I'm definitely feeling from this pile, it's either one or the other. Like I said, we can become, when our feminine energy is even suppressed, okay, with the Empress in reverse. Feminine energy is suppressed. Um, we can either become very clingy and needy, smothering almost, obsessive. Or we can become very detached and cold and not nurturing at all, right, towards a person. Um, so it may be needing us to find more balance from within. I also love the way that this depiction on the star card, how she's kind of sending up energy through her hand up towards the sky and then also down towards the ground. So to me, this also shows this energy of balance that we also have in the justice card here as well why is the moon energy here strength i love this because the strength card is also about inner power it's also about our confidence right so maybe the connection needs you to be a confident person a person who's in your power right in control of things even when things are kind of like going crazy around you. Look at how she's got like this, this huge tornado in the background. Which she may have caused. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's about us having control over our, over our emotions. This is our inner strength, inner power, courage, confidence. The strength card is also about gentleness and kindness. Right? So we can also be kind and gentle if we feel that that is applicable to the relationship that we're in, right? Being nice, being nice, pile one, <laughs> being nice to people, you know, because with the strength card, we can also, what this is primarily about is this lion that's on the card. This is like our, imagine this lion lives inside of you, right? And that lion that's inside of you has uh, impulses, it has um, desires. Um, it can also be when our emotions are a little crazy and we lash out at people, we get angry. Um, our emotions are all over the place, right? A lot of our instincts to do something are out of ego with this, with this card. So this is about us learning how to kind of in a way temper those feelings, those thoughts, those um, things so that we don't allow that lion to get out of control within us that we are taming it, right? Not through force, but through gentleness, kindness, and the way that she's got control of this lion, not by hurting it, right? 
and and trying to suppress it um but more or less like just calm gentle energy so it could be that the connection is also something that needs you like i said very much to be in your power stable okay stable energy here um is definitely what i'm getting i want to clarify this justice card And we have the Two of Cups. Again, balance. Right? Harmony with the Two of Cups. Right? Because when you're, like I said, when you're at your best vibration, that is when a person can really come to you with that, you know, same energy. Hopefully, right? For most connections, if the person is willing to put in the work with you. To come into a place of balance. The justice card is also about being honest. Living in truth. Speaking truth. Um, a place of integrity. Respect. Loyalty. Right? That may also be what the connection needs from you. Loyalty. Respecting each other. Um, I can't really say for those of you that are in situations, you know, where your partner might not be treating you like that, but I would say more or less kind of, again, going back to, especially if a person is not acting that way with you, because I understand some of you might have circumstances like that, where you're just like, okay, well, I'm, I do all these things for this connection, but my partner doesn't. They don't respect me or they don't tell me the truth. They're not honest, or I am loving and they're not, you know? Again, I would go back to the Empress energy. Is it a person who's showing you that they know what your worth is? Do you know what your worth is, you know? Justice is about us being honest about what is serving our highest good, right? But when we can show up and become the best possible version of ourself, you know, we can take our connections, you know, Assuming that they are healthy, loving connections with people to a whole new level, right? And also controlling our fears in a way um, that we're getting a bunch of control. Because like I said, sometimes we can have fears and insecurities that will literally sabotage our relationships, right? We have an anger issue or we get obsessive and angry towards somebody and we start taking it out on a partner, right? Causing these tornadoes in the relationship because of fears that we might have. So if they do something to trigger, right? There we go with our wand creating the storm, right? With the tornado. Um, so yeah, I would say this is in order for you to maybe like improve it, right? What does the connection need from you? To have a handle, to have control over what these things are for you, okay? Because it's a general reading. I'm not going to get into a whole listing of what it could be. We all have different things, right? That we're afraid of or that we have suppressed, um, you know? Also, if you are someone who has a tendency to, to suppress anger or resentment or uh, feelings and emotions, this can also be opening up to healthy communication with your partner, Right? Being honest about what you've got, right? What these fears are, talking through them, you know, letting your partner know, say, hey, you know what? When you do X, Y, Z, this really triggers me, right? Instead of acting out with your little lion there that lives inside of you, <laughs> you're the little beast inside um, that feels the need to lash out or to, you know, uh, say something from very heightened emotions you know, so yeah, I would say looking at what's there, what you do suppress, what you do hold back and be aware of what you've got in your moon energy, what you've got within your subconscious mind, what you hide there, what you keep there. Are there certain things that you hold inside with your partner that you don't say that you feel like, okay, if I said this, then what if they leave me? Right. Sometimes we get afraid because I've been in relationships like that in the past where I was so afraid to say something that I noticed that they were doing that was bothering me. I was more worried about them leaving me. And I placed them over my own worth, my own value. 
I was more worried about me saying something to them and like, oh, what if this triggers them? What if they get mad at me? What if they what if they want to break up with me? What if they want to leave me? Because I said my truth. Right? So sometimes we suppress all of that. We suppress a lot of those feelings and those emotions. And we do have fears that we need to talk about. Right? I'm seeing these this little two of cups energy here where they look like they're coming together here. Um you know, they're building trust. They're building an emotional bond, a connection between the two of them. I mean, this could even be the two of you spending quality time with each other. You know, um, where you do, right? Talk about your fears. Talk about your worries. Or maybe even spend more time doing more fun things with your partner. You know, making a date, setting a date, asking someone out on a date, <laughs> you know, especially if you're feeling a little bit like, okay, I don't know, like, because for some of you, this could even be like a brand new connection. And what does it need from you? It needs you to be confident, right? It needs you to be confident and needs you to face your fears. Um, maybe have enough courage to ask the person out and not fear rejection. Right? That can be something for some of you. And being honest, hey, you know what, I like you. I want to go out with you. I want to take you out. You know, I feel like a lot of this is, like I said earlier, your confidence, your self-esteem, you be, you being the best version of yourself. Because when you're the best version of yourself and you're shining like this queen of wands, right? It's like this energy draws in and attracts a lot, a lot, a lot, right? A lot of people, it's very eye-catching because even though I know sometimes we feel like, okay, I'm not the most attractive person or I feel like I have this wrong with me or that wrong with me, right? That's a whole part of building up your confidence. Confidence is something that radiates out of you. It radiates out of you, right? And this is something that other people can feel. So they're just like, wow, what is she doing, you know? It's something that is, is very alluring, you know? So yeah, I feel like with, with you being the best version of yourself and, and, be, and definitely being more confident, loving yourself, maybe for some of you, like I said, being more compassionate, um, healing any wounds that you might have within your feminine energy of not feeling pretty enough or, you know, um, handsome enough, uh, just not feeling enough in general, you know? But also, like I said, knowing your worth, okay? Especially, like I said, for those of you that are in situations where you're you're doing all the things and your partner is not, right? Your partner's not doing that. Then I would take, like I said, take it back to justice. Is this connection balanced? Is it harmonious? And if it's not, is it time for me to move on to something else and think about what I really want for uh, my future, Okay. So let's see what else we're going to get some Oracle here. So what does your connection need from you? Pile number one. What does your connection need from you? We have shattered here and I just dropped one. What is this? The shadows. Okay. I like that. Right? Because to me, this is like you breaking free from your shadow, which is the moon energy. The moon is the shadow, right? Those are your fears. Those are all these parts of yourself that you have a good handle on, right? Sometimes our shadow can, it's very much a part of us. It's never going to leave. We are both darkness and light. Our shadow's always there, but we can have a better handle on it, right? Especially with strength to not let our shadow impact our relationship, you know? I've been a person who my insecurities were so bad, they sabotaged relationships. And a person's just like, oh no, like, girl, you need to heal. <laughs> like, what are you doing? This is, this is, this is madness. You know? Especially like trust issues, right? Issues with trust that can sabotage something. So yeah, I feel like it's you reflecting on your own shadow here. And shattering away the illusion that those shadows create in your connections that could, right, cause sabotage. Okay? So 
So what does this connection need from you? We have cold. Okay, so yeah, some of you, there's the need for you to really just kind of open up to love, okay? Because this to me is more detached. Maybe some of you are really afraid of getting hurt and you close yourself off, okay? That can also be why the Empress is in reverse. We have unspoken feelings. So maybe for some of you, there's a need for you to speak up. <laughs> like I said, ask somebody out. Have enough courage and confidence to even face your fear of rejection, right? Because you never know what the other person is feeling or thinking unless you try, right? You can't let the fears kind of like run your whole life. So to me, the shadows here and the shattering it, like I said, is you facing your fear. Some of you needing to speak up and talk about your feelings regardless of where you're at in your connection with that person, right? If they're an ex-partner, if they're your current partner, if they're somebody that you want to date and that unspoken feelings just doesn't need to just be about, oh, I love you. They could be like, hey, you really upset me because you an another one you don't want to hold here is resentment, right? Anger and just keep it inside, right? Stuff it away because that's what we're doing with the moon energy. We're suppressing things right? What if your partner really does make you feel upset and you hold it in? And because you hold it in, it's now put you into that empress and reverse energy because now you're mad, right? Now you're just mad and you're no longer feeling loving and nurturing and kind. You're feeling aggressive and angry and I want to hurt this person, right? So yes, unspoken feelings, no matter what they're about, is you speaking your truth with that justice card. Honesty. Okay, so what does this connection need from you? Pile number one, we have history. I don't know, maybe some of you do have history together. Maybe for some of you, it's about healing your past. Okay, maybe like this connection needs you to heal your past so that you can be fully open and present for this one. Okay, maybe if you guys have a history together and there's been some things that have been unresolved between the two of you in the past this can be you talking about that okay it can be you talking about that when i'm looking at this history card it looks like there's a crack here to me it looks like a fracture like maybe for somebody there could have been something that happened between the two of you maybe a breakup you know maybe there's a need for you to speak up and say something Let's see what else. What does this connection need from you? Pile one. Awakening and taciturn. Okay, so this is like basically like silence, quiet, stillness. Maybe for some of you, if you are quiet with this person, there is a need to speak up. For others of you, I feel like this is quiet reflection. And just taking some time to think about things. We do have awakening here too. So to me, this is also you having an awareness an awareness of your feelings, of your thoughts, of your own behaviors, of how you are contributing to the connection and also how the other person is showing up for you. Okay. And then we have waiting here. Waiting. Okay. So what does this connection need from you right now? Maybe it needs patience for some of you. Okay. Maybe it needs patience. Maybe it needs for some of you to take a more calm, grounded approach to it. Okay? Really depending on what your situation is with the person right now. Okay? So take that how um, it resonates. So what I would like to do, I want to ask Spirit, what is your guidance? And then we'll close this reading out so they don't get too long. Okay. <clears throat> So what is pile number one's advice, guidance? We have the emperor. We have the hanged man. Yeah, I feel like um, for some of you, this can be also opening up your eyes <clears throat> to your partners because I'm noticing we have both Empress and Emperor here. Um, maybe for some of you it's about shifting your perspective or being open to other perspectives or the perspective of the other person. 
right? That could be something for you here. Um, the Emperor is also about seeing things from a higher perspective, and the Hangman is perspective, right? The hangman is also us taking a step back, withdrawing, you know, and taking a pause, taking some time to gain some insight, some awareness, or to really think about things, right? So we can see what needs to be released. And of course, it may be different things for, for each of you, given that there are some different energies here. And I'm seeing the devil at the bottom. Okay, so with the devil energy, these can be your own, right? Things that you need to work on here, that you need to heal. I'm seeing temperance here too, okay? The Eight of Pentacles is about self-mastery. So how can you master your own, let's just say your devil energy, your shadow, because that is coming up through here, okay? Your own fears, your own doubts, your own insecurities, your own addictions, attachments, codependency, um, unhealthy patterns of behavior, um, anything like that. Because the devil energy is something that makes us feel stuck, trapped, oppressed, obsessive, right? Sometimes we can be a little bit obsessive. That can be something we can work on, okay? So temperance, yeah, is really just bringing about, again, we've got balance here. Transmutation of energies. No more devil energy, Right? And just more peace, more calm, more balance that you find with inside of yourself. Okay? So that is all that I have for you. Pile number one. I do hope this reading was helpful for you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Hi, pile two. So those of you that resonate with the Forest of Enchantment Tarot. And this little blue agate. Let's see. What does this connection need from you? Okay, what does this connection need from you? So, as I said in the intro, this is for all of you, no matter what your situation is, whether it's a breakup, whether it's you're just starting or wanting to date somebody, a crush, uh, someone that you might be going through divorce with, separation. We'll just see what and allow whatever energy comes through. If you don't feel like it matches for you, um, you can choose a different pile. Okay. So what does this connection that you have in your mind, what does this connection need from you right now, okay? What does this connection need from you? Pile two. What does this connection need from you? have the weaver of challenges that is the queen of swords okay what does this connection need from you right now the okay i get it all right <clears throat> so starting off already the Eight of Swords is when we are, we can be doing some um, obsessive thinking here. Um, this is very restrictive, okay? Very restrictive. This is when we keep ourselves stuck in a mental prison. Um, this is a lot of rumination for those of you that know what ruminating is. It's just basically the same thoughts coming in over and over and over again about a person, about a situation. We could be thinking a lot of negative thoughts. We can have a lot of fears and insecurities, a lot of self-limiting beliefs. It's just like this vicious cycle of repeated thoughts just, and they're not helping us, right, with this energy. If you're also somebody in this connection with this person where um, the person has done something wrong, right, the Eight of Swords can also talk about victim victimization, feeling kind of like the victim mentality. And we get stuck in that place of just thinking about this thing that they've done to us over and over and over again. And it just, it just keeps us stuck, mentally drained, okay? So if you notice here, she's kind of like surrounded by all of these thorns that are just trapping her, right? But the Eight of Swords is an illusion, right? We have the ability to get ourselves out of this. 
right? When we can bring awareness to our thoughts. So this is what we do to ourself, okay? This is what we do to ourself. The Queen of Swords, she's all about clarity, truth, honesty, integrity, clear, logical, rational thinking, right? The Queen of Swords has the ability to be able to see through to the truth of a situation, right? She's able to be a clear head, a clear mind, um, to see the truth of anything, right? She's, she's, uh, like a human lie detector. <laughs> she can see everything, right? She's a no BS kind of person. So I feel like what this connection needs from you for you right now, given that I'm seeing this energy here is for you to be the queen of swords, right? Is for you to be the queen of swords. And so maybe this is you having an awareness of your own thoughts, if they're insecurities, if they're just something, whatever this is going to be different for all of you. But this is basically us. I mean, this could even be obsessing, right? Obsessively thinking about something over and over again or someone. But this queen of swords to me is like shaking you out of this energy so that you're able to just have peace of mind, clarity, truth. It may also be seeing the truth of a situation with someone. So that's what we're starting with. Let's see what else is here piled to. So what does this connection need from you? What does this connection need from you piled to? We've got the five of boons, which is the five of pentacles. The Five of Pentacles, some of you, this could be feeling shut out, feeling isolated by someone. The Five of Pentacles can be a feeling of abandonment, a feeling of being isolated, shut out, alone, loneliness, void. It can also be like a feeling of lack, emptiness, okay? We have the Three of Cups in reverse. The Ace of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now what I will say, because I know that sometimes some of these messages are going to come through very specific for some of you guys. So if this doesn't really resonate, um, then you might want to choose a different pile or just take only what, what fits for you. Okay. But I am seeing a very clear message here for someone that has been rejected or has been abandoned from a connection with someone or, or <clears throat> this can be when this person is making you feel like they're not, your needs are not being met. Okay. Some of you could be in a breakup situation in which you are wanting to reconcile with the person. I don't know what's going on with them because that's not really what's coming through here right now, but I'm seeing it as like wanting reconciliation and with the Four of Pentacles energy here, this is a very strong attachment that you might have to this person. The Four of Pentacles is when we are clinging on to something. We're afraid to let it go, right? So those of you that have been rejected by someone, abandoned, um, a person that's blocked you, they're no contact with you. I mean, she looks distraught. She does. She looks just mentally just... She's, she looks like she's going through a lot. And what I feel like this connection needs from you is for you to get a real, like almost like get a handle on your, your mind, right? Which is, which is easier said than done, right? Especially when we're feeling like this, because this is like, it's ongoing, right? Repetitive, where we feel like we cannot shake ourselves out of this. 
So many of you, what this connection needs from you right now is healing for you to heal. Okay. And also I would say releasing attachment that you have the, the, the feeling of the need to try to control something because the four of pentacles can also be when we are, uh, I don't know, for some of you it could be jealousy. For some of you, it can be uh, just feeling that need to control or hold on or attach. Um, so what I would say with this is loosen your grip, okay? Loosen your grip. Um, the Ace of Cups to me is about healing. It's also about emotional release, okay? Emotional release. What does this connection need from you? The folly, which is the tower. Yeah, you're releasing something here. And I would say this, right? Maybe even the attachment. Hmm. Or if I would say for those of you that really are going through a breakup, a separation or um, some difficulty with this person, this partner. I mean, for some of you, it can literally be letting go, you know, letting go. Um, I mean, the, the tower is like a wake up call for us. It's, it's like an epiphany, a realization of something. For some of you, this tower energy can be symbolic of like relationship breakdown. Uh, something that has been very chaotic in our life. Something that has caused a lot of destructive energy. Um, sometimes with the tower, this is something that happens by divine intervention. This is divine getting involved, right? For some of you to remove someone out of your life. We may not be able to understand why, like, why is this happening? I love this person or I really like them. Why, why, why is the universe doing this? You know? Um, but to me, there is also, I want to clarify this. We'll do that. But what does this connection need from you? Pile number two. Okay. We've got the seven of swords, the seven of swords. This is a lot of scattered thinking, your mind just being all over the place, right? The seven of swords can also be a card of deception, a card of illusion, trickery. You know, some of you might feel betrayed by someone or feel like you are being deceived, right? So again, queen of swords. We're seeing through the, someone's lies. We're seeing through someone's betrayal. We're seeing through somebody deceiving us in some way. Um, what does this connection need from you? I feel like that Queen of Swords is a really, a very powerful energy. Right? We've got the Eight of Cups. And the Four of Spells in Reverse, which is the Four of Wands. Okay. And then I'm seeing the seven of boons at the bottom, which is the seven of pentacles. So the seven of pentacles as your overall energy is what this needs from you right now is to really take some time to evaluate and reassess whether or not this connection is truly manifesting into something that you really want or need or deserve in your life. Um, are there other things you can invest your time and energy into? Because I will say, if you're feeling like this about this connection, that is a lot of mental energy that is going into this, okay? And if this person is someone who's no longer here or no longer in your life anymore, are you wasting your energy on this person, okay? Um, I'm also noticing that in this Seven of Pentacles card, there's a bunch of different doors here. Okay, so this makes me feel like spirit is saying here, is it worth it for you to still invest into this relationship? Or is it better for you at this time to see if you should invest your time and energy elsewhere? Right, because this to me looks like different up opportunities. Okay, um, the four of wands energy in reverse is unstable energy. 
okay? It could be an unstable relationship. It could be a lack of balance or harmony in the relationship. And if that is the case, again, you're the queen of swords here, right? This is spirit wanting you to see this connection clearly, right? Clear. If someone has avoided commitment, if someone has, you know, not taken things to the next level, are they too afraid? This is like basically you putting this connection under the microscope and being honest with yourself with the Queen of Swords energy here. The Eight of Cups, as far as what you what it needs from you right now, this is letting go. The Eight of Cups is about letting go, detaching, withdrawing emotionally away from something that is no longer serving your highest good. Okay? Um, so yeah, I feel like this is very specific for those of you that are in a place right now where there's, it, it just feels like either breakup energy or someone who is not, let's just say, as invested. They could be manipulative, they could be lying, they could be running away, they could be avoidant, they could be all of these things. But I'm feeling like what spirit is wanting you to see is the attachment, the holding on, right? And instead of holding on, spirit is saying, let go, right? Let go and heal with the Ace of Cups. It's like if you look at this swan here, the swan has a reflection of itself, right? So what this connection may also need you to do is to take a look at yourself. What is this connection doing to you? How is it making you feel? Is it making you feel safe? Is it making you feel secure? Is it making you feel loved? Is it making you feel cherished and honored? Um... You know what I'm saying? Because this to me is, is very unsettling for a connection to make us feel that way. You know, it's a, it's a very ungrounded energy, unstable. So yeah, with the queen of swords, that is all about seeing maybe spirit saying here, really taking a look at what you need to release or let go of, right? You may even be someone who is in a relationship with this person and you might have a lot of fears about being cheated on or about being deceived, about being lied to, right? About being rejected, about being abandoned, because those can also be fears that you have while in the relationship with someone that could be creating problems, issues, right? Which is kind of similar to the message that was in Pile 1. Sometimes it's our own fears and insecurities and worries that we have that could sabotage connections, right? So take this how it resonates to your situation. Like I said, it's going to be different for all of you, but basically your major arcana that you have here is the tower. That is release. That is letting go of something, either the person or a certain pattern of behavior that you have, right? In the relationship, in the connection, because it's like as the archetype here with the queen of swords, this is what this connection needs from you is for you to be to see things, right, crystal clear in order for you to make decisions, choices, take action, speak your truth, um, be honest. The Queen of Swords is also a very cutthroat energy, you know. If somebody is play, trying to play her, somebody is trying to lie to her, deceive her, not tell her the truth, um, she's going to see right through it, okay. And she has no problem because the Queen of Swords is also very assertive. She's very assertive and she's authoritative, right? Which means that she's going to step into her power. That if someone is literally deceiving her, not only is she going to see through the BS, she's going to cut and remove that person out of her life because she's not going to stand for it, right? So it can either be that energy that you need to embody as that queen of swords, or if this is your own fears that you have, right, of, of rejection, abandonment, being deceived in some way, like especially if you've gone through this in your past and this is something that you keep thinking about. Like every time you get into a new connection, you think, oh no, I can't settle down. I can't trust this person. I'm too afraid. 
I'm too afraid to let someone in. I'm too afraid to let someone love me because what if I get hurt again? What if someone lies to me? What if someone betrays me? What if they leave me? What if they abandon me? What if I get rejected, right? Because we can also put ourselves in that whole negative thinking. So in a way, to me, this Queen of Swords of what the connection needs from you is for you to understand this is an illusion. Okay? This is an illusion. If that... Um, resonates for you, right? Because we can do this ourselves, right? Then that would be what you need to release here is the overthinking, the overanalyzing, right? I used to do this in my connections. Um, I got out of a really bad relationship with somebody who cheated like more times than I can count, like with 20 plus other females. And after that relationship, I was constantly worried about my new relationship. They're going to cheat on me. They're going to cheat on me. They're going to cheat on me. And I did this to myself, right? So if you are like that and you're going through that right now, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry that you have to go through that. I hope that you can find healing for whoever did this to you, right? But it also, even though it's a, a painful, painful experience, and I remember it was awful. I felt so bad about myself because it really messes with your self-esteem. It really messes with your self-confidence. But when you can learn to start seeing through people's lies and illusion, you know, like I said, the Queen of Swords, she is, she is one powerful energy, you know, no BS, none of it. So when you can start to see beyond your own illusions of how you either think like this, and that is something that you need to release here, or is it the illusion that the person is keeping you stuck in or the attachment that you have that you need to release and let go of? So I will leave that up to you, right? Because like this is a general reading. It's not specific for any one of you. So take it how it resonates. But I do want to clarify this uh, tower energy here. So why is the tower here, Spirit? For pile two, why is the tower here? The six of pentacles. Okay, the six of pentacles is about reciprocity in a relationship. Okay, equal give and take, meaning that the person that we're with is putting in the same amount of energy. So take a look here, right, at your connection. Take a second, right, we're evaluating here. And be honest with yourself, is this person putting in and pulling their weight? Are they just deceiving you? And are you still clinging on to it even knowing, right? Because this is also not betraying yourself, not lying to yourself about something, right? This is you being honest. Are they giving to you right now? Are they pulling their weight in the relationship? If they're not, this is what we got to let go of. Also, are you someone who gives too much? That would also be something that you need to evaluate. Am I always the giver in the relationship? Am I always making the dates? Am I always calling them? Am I always texting them? And they're not, right? That would also be you breaking yourself free from the illusion that you have, right? About the person. It's just all about truth here with the queen of swords, seeing the truth, right? Facing the facts of the situation with the person, right? No more illusions. Why is the tower here? We've got, look at that, <laughs> the King of Swords. Okay, the King of Swords. The King of Swords is all about facts. All about the facts. It's, it's a higher consciousness, right? Um, judgment, yeah. Mm-hmm. And judgment is about making a big decision, right? That you have to make about the connection. Some of you could even be going through a divorce. Okay. Some of you could be going through a divorce and you could be also worried. I'm seeing maybe worried about money too. Worried about money. So if that is the case for you, okay, only take if it resonates. But yeah, I'm also seeing a divorce. And some of you could be worried about money, splitting money, sharing money, division of property and things like that. What this connection needs from you, again, is being that strong queen of swords. No BS, through lies, through deception, um, 
Some of you can also be recognizing here that it is, right? An unstable relationship. Um, but yeah, judgment is like a wake-up call. It is a wake-up call. It is us really listening to our to spirit, right? Because judgment comes in with this angel like, hello, wake up. There's something you need to see. There's something you need to look at, right? So judgment is literally like spirit calling us into action. There's some type of action that is needed here, right? There's a need for us to pay attention when the judgment card comes in. This is a big life decision for some of you. Okay. Uh, let's, I want to look at the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Not, look at that. Nine of Pentacles. That is single. That is independent. That is wealthy. That is abundant. That is stable and secure. And Three of Cups. So I almost feel like Spirit's saying here what this connection needs from you right now, again, is to be a strong, independent, stable, secure, happy. Right? Um, surrounding yourself with positive people, surrounding yourself with supportive friends. This can also be if you are the person who gets trapped up in your own thoughts and those are something that are kind of wrecking havoc in your relationship. It could be you investing more time and energy into releasing, forgiving, releasing things from your past and bringing about a better energy with inside of yourself, especially if you are that person who worries, like worries about is, are they going to leave me? Are they going to break up with me? Are they going to this? Are they going to that? Are they going to cheat? Are they going to lie? All of that stuff. Okay. Then it really is about you building up, um, learning how to speak your truth, learning how to be assertive, uh, learning to be more confident in yourself. Um, uh, finding happiness from within yourself and healing, okay, is what I will say there as well. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Emperor energy. So, yeah, the Emperor is about you. Um, um, what is this? Some of you being, like I said, assertive here because the Emperor is also very disciplined, very focused. Um, the Emperor is all about seeing the bigger picture of things. Right? Some of you may be needing to step into your masculine energy at this time with this connection. Okay? Um, I want to see what your Seven of Pentacles is here. Look at that. Six of Swords. Okay? Six of Swords is about moving on. So some of you were that. This is a decision, right? You could be making here is what this needs from you, right? Maybe is detaching moving on away from the connection for others of you where it's just your thoughts that are the issue or the problem and they're creating a problem in the relationship it would be you moving away from this energy again this is an illusion right we have the ability to get ourselves out of it okay and that could be be more mindful getting your energy grounded right healing any emotions that you might have associated with these things maybe from your past that six of swords would mean Taking some time to evaluate what patterns of behavior, what types of thoughts do I need to move away from because I can't let these things ruin or sabotage my connection with this person, right? But some of you quite literally could be spirit saying what the connection needs from you is to move away, move away from it or move on from it for some of you. Why is the seven of pentacles here? The sun. For some of you, it's like moving into a place of happiness, right? Without these kind of bothering you happier not in this place for others of you this is moving towards something that does bring you joy and happiness because if it really is this relationship that's making you feel this way is it really a good relationship that's again where you're the queen of swords being honest with yourself if it's not making you happy not making you feel fulfilled what are we doing right you got plenty of other little doors here to check through right? To see what else is, is out there um, for you. So take that, like I said, how it resonates. Let's look at your oracle now. What does this connection need from you? Pile number two. What does this connection need from you? We have fate. Okay. 
So with this, this makes me feel that there is a need for you to surrender control to whatever is going on in this connection. This is understand that there is a force that is greater than us, right? And understanding that whatever happens with this person or whatever happens with this connection um, is a need for us to surrender to that and not try to force, not try to control. This is more or less about going with the flow. So if it is that literally spirit is saying here, release this person, it is trusting that it is something that is happening for our highest uh good okay i'm gonna put those over there let's see what else divine timing what does this connection need from you yearning dancing through my dreams now i will say for those of you that are wanting to reconcile with a person Okay, wanting to reconcile with a person, but that person is not someone who is available to you right now, or they're not taking any action towards you of being with you. Um, detachment may be something for you to do at this time, right? Because let's just say that there is someone that you are very connected to and both of you know, like, I want to be with you. I want to be with you too. And it's just the timing is off. Okay. Cause some of you might even be in that situation here. This may also be again, surrendering, surrendering to divine, divine timing and knowing and trusting that if this person and you are meant to be, the universe will make it so. Okay. Because some of you, I feel like you might be having a lot of dreams, this person on your mind a lot, right? We have yearning here. So to me, it's like spirit saying here, there's a lot of thinking going on, right? A lot of thinking. What does this connection need? Divine intervention, right? That's the tower. So, I mean, divine intervention can be taking place in your connection right now, has already, um, like I said, there's a lot of trust and knowing that whatever is happening or going on is for your highest good. We have uplift here. So to me, if you are someone who is feeling a little bit sad or a little bit stressed out or there's a lot of worrying, a lot of stressing, there is a need for maybe, like I said, having supportive people around you, helping to lift your mood, lift your spirits, um, doing something to, to work towards changing your energy. Okay. And that can come from having loving and supportive friends. It can come through you talking to people, expressing your feelings, expressing your emotions of something that you're going through with um, this connection with this person. We have, look at that. We have hurt. Okay. So pain, obviously, that's something for us to heal, right? Hurt of wanting, yearning for a person, desire that's here unstable right so that energy here because of the attachment that's here for some of you could be something we have vows here i don't know maybe some of you have an unstable marriage with someone i'm seeing drifting at the bottom for some of you it's making me feel like i'm getting a couple different messages with the drifting for some of you, it makes me feel like if this person is an ex-partner and you're just kind of like drifting along, just like waiting, waiting and waiting and waiting, this can be creating unstable energy for you, right? It's it, To me, this is like not being fully present. For others of you, whether you're in an unstable relationship already, an unstable marriage, to me, the drifting is also drifting apart or drifting away, um, acknowledging, right, it, whether or not the connection is right for you, right? So again, I'm kind of reverting back to you being the queen of swords, right? And really taking some time to um, think about things, right? Um, with the vows here, yes, it can be talking about marriage, a person who's married here. Um, marriage could be involved in some way. 
Um, but yeah, this unstable energy here, I'm feeling more or less it could be something within the connection. It could be something that you have with inside of yourself. Because the drifting along to me can also be feeling like you're stuck in limbo for some of you. Right? Stuck in limbo. Why, why is this unstable energy here, spirit? The Ten of Swords. That's pain. That's a painful ending for some of you, a breakup, or it can also be a lot of unstable thoughts, right? A lot of healing, um, the lovers, some of you separated, some of you, it might even be a divine counterpart that you're separated from right now. And if it really is, or someone you're married to, someone you've been in a relationship with, if it is a divine counterpart situation, of course, what it needs from you right now is... I'm looking at that Queen of Swords from the Eight of Swords is like a reality check right now. You know, if it's not time yet, this is about you working on your healing. It could be where you're working on yourself. Again, this is surrendering to divine timing. It is releasing attachment, loosening your grip. Okay, because this can also be something that's just kind of keeping you right stuck in limbo where you're not able to progress and move forward. Some of you, it is a breakup that's happened that has created a lot of unstable energy here. Maybe for some of you, this is a divorce, a separation, a breakup. And then we have temperance. So this is spirit saying here, there needs healing. There's balance here. Transmutation of this pain that some of you might be going through from the loss of a relationship, from a breakup. There's a need for you to focus on healing right now and finding balance within inside of yourself again. That's what this needs from you right now is for you to heal, for you to find balance from within and for you to be, again, Queen of Swords, looking at things very clearly, evaluating things. Okay, so that is all that I have for you. Pile number two, I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Pal 3. So those of you that resonate with the Animal Totem Tarot and this White Hell Light. I forgot to put this away. The White Hell Light. This is going to be a reading. Um, so we're looking today at what does this connection, the connection that you have on your mind, what does it need from you? Okay. So basically what is needed from your energy um, with the connection and or just kind of leaving it open for spirit to kind of bring whatever it is that needs to come through if you feel like what's coming through doesn't really match what your situation is you're more than welcome to choose a different pile do keep in mind that this is a general collective energy reading so if something you know say for the most part matches your situation but then there's something else that come through that doesn't that message may not be for you, right? If it doesn't resonate, don't try to force it to fit, but just keep in mind that I'm reading for many different people in many different situations. So only take what fits for you, okay? So let's see, pile three. What does this connection need from you right now? The connection on your mind. What does this need from you? Right? What does it need from pile number three right now? What does this connection need? We've got the four of cups. Okay. We've got the nine of wands. What does this connection need from you right now? The chariot. Okay. Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Fool, okay, Six of Swords, Knight of Swords. Boy, these cards are busy for you guys. They're just like flying right out. We have the two of wands. And then at the bottom, we have the queen of cups. Okay, I like it. I'm seeing the ten of wands underneath that though. I think we'll take it. We'll take it. Okay. 
So, as I said, all of you are going to be in many different situations, okay? Some of you are trying to date someone, or crushing on someone, in a relationship, getting divorced, um, separated, breaks up, breakups, all that kind of stuff, okay? So just take it as the general kind of like advice that's coming through. But I will say, you have the Queen of Cups as the archetype that is coming through. I mean, the Knight of Swords is here too, but... Mm. what this needs from you okay well i will say i'm i don't know what this is this looks like a moose maybe a moose okay so queen of cups she actually looks like she is submerged under the water here but the queen of cups energy is about nurturing compassion love sensitivity empathy um but being that she's also in the water this makes me feel like what this connection needs from you most right now is for you to be in a place of emotional stability balance okay it needs you to be in that place whether this comes from you nurturing yourself, self-love, self-care. Um, because I'm noticing we have the Ten of Wands here too. The Ten of Wands is a lot of energetic burdens, a lot of baggage, emotional baggage that we might have. And I'm noticing a lot of this energy, actually the Chariot, the Six of Swords, both of these energies here are about moving away from something, moving on from something. So I'm not trying to say you need to move on from the connection unless that is what you feel. But to me, this is a lot of weight that you're carrying here. And maybe if you are, this is a need for you to take a look and deep dive, right? Like the Moose is doing here. She's diving into her feelings and her emotions. So maybe this is you taking a closer look at your feelings and your emotions that you're having of what kind of things are weighing you down, okay? Um, because this can be baggage from our past. It can be a lot of stress that we're under. Um, and so this is basically about you being in a place where you can get a handle, right, on your feelings, on your emotions, or even going through whatever these wands are symbolic for you for, right? This can be childhood trauma. This can be some stuff from sixth grade that still hurts your your feelings uh stuff that you had um with a sibling you know all of this stuff that we have it could even be stuff that you're dealing with with this person in this relationship okay so some of you can even be holding back certain feelings and emotions and i feel what's happening because i'm noticing the first card that came out was the four of cups okay the Four of Cups energy can make us feel very unhappy, very discontent. Um, it can be a feeling of boredom, a feeling of indifference. Um, not, yeah, just not being satisfied. It can also be a blind spot that we have, something that we're not seeing about the person, about the connection. It can also be paying attention to your own feelings and emotions right now, okay? I will say that a lot of this energy looks like what Spirit is saying for you is what the connection needs for from you right now is for you to focus on yourself, okay? Because this Nine of Wands energy, and you have both the Nine and the Ten of Wands here. The Nine of Wands is a card of resilience, and it may also be that you've gone through a lot in your past or even with this person. And when I look at this chariot here, this whale, and the chariot is about us having the willpower to move forward. Maybe it's moving on for you. Maybe it is moving past these things, these energetic burdens that you're carrying, right? Because I feel like the point of it all is for you to focus on yourself, nurture yourself, self-love, deep dive into your feelings and your emotions, and take a look at what energetic burdens you're carrying, right? The chariot, this whale is literally coming out of the water. 
The chariot is also a card of freedom, momentum, progress, movement forward, okay? So maybe for some of you, if you are someone, let's just say, that is holding on to a lot of energetic baggage from your past and you're trying to connect with this person here and your baggage is something that is not letting you connect with this person on an emotional level the way that you really need to, right? Then that could be you, uh, again, taking a look at what you need to let go of, right? What, what are the underlying reasons for your unhappiness here? or feeling sad or discontent, maybe even bordering along the line of depression. Um, also taking a look at what it is that you're not seeing either within yourself or about the connection, okay? So to me, I'm seeing that whale coming out of, right? The moose is deep diving into the feelings and emotions, but then the chariot, the whale is coming right out of the water. So, Looking at the page of pentacles right next to that, when I first saw this card come out, look at that llama baby, that alpaca or whatever this is. All of that fur in all, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven baskets of fur that this little alpaca or llama has shed away, you know? So this llama looks, or alpaca looks a lot happier, a lot freer, right? Without all that weight there. So to me, what this connection needs from you right now is for you, because we also have the eight of pentacles here. The eight of pentacles is a need for working on the self, committing and dedicating yourself to self mastery. Okay. So this little goat here, I think it's a goat is by itself, right? On this little mountain here climbing the sides of the mountain um maybe this is gaining some perspective for some of you right on what things you're carrying okay so you have the fool and i see like this little cricket or this grasshopper here um that looks very free right there's no baggage there it's even leaving the little knapsack on the ground where normally the fool is holding it, right, over its shoulder, the little knapsack. But this cricket, this grasshopper is just like, I'm free, right? So, yeah, because I feel like the hangman is a change of perspective here. So this connection needs from you right now to gain maybe some perspective on maybe your own energy, right? Your own energy here. <clears throat> Six of Swords is going to be uh, moving away from something, a person, a situation, or even ways of thinking or doing that are creating chaotic energy for you in your life, okay? Some of you, it could be that this connection is chaotic. Some of you could be your baggage that is creating chaos, right? Because sometimes when we bring in our baggage from past connections, it can be something that sabotages our relationships, okay? So <clears throat> I feel like the reason for you, in a way, I look at that little page of pentacles right there as you being a lot lighter, right? This is a need for you right now in this connection. What does it need from you is you to focus on yourself, a need for maybe healing, maybe releasing some things, moving away from certain ways of thinking or doing. Because with the Knight of Swords energy here, this is very confident energy. And we have the Two of Wands right next to that. And the Two of Wands is a card of planning. It's a card of having a decision to make, a path to choose, a direction to choose. It could be thinking about what we want for our future. And maybe... Is this connection in alignment for you? Does it, does it match what you want? Or do you feel in this Ten of Wands energy that this connection is something that is creating too much of a heavy weight and it's weighing you down, right? So some of you, literally, it can be you deciding, you know what, this connection is stressing me out. This is too much. I'm going to think about my feelings and my emotions. And you know what? No, I'm going to be that little alpaca or llama and I'm going to shed this away. I'm going to have enough willpower to get myself out of this relationship. I'm going to be free. I've had a change and shift of perspective in the way that I look at this relationship. I'm moving away. And now I'm this Knight of Swords. 
that is going to make a choice here and choose a different path. Okay, that may be the case for some of you. So yeah, at the end of the day, I feel like the message here with what does this connection need from you most right now is for you to take a look at your feelings, your emotions, bring yourself into a place of emotional stability, emotional balance, take some time to work on you, take just time to see what may be bothering you emotionally. And it does it have anything to do with this connection or is it stuff that you're holding on to from the past so that you can free yourself either from the connection or from this weight that you're needing to shed from your past, right? And the only way that we can do that is by taking the time to work on ourself, okay? So then we can clearly decide when we've freed ourselves from some of this energy, then we, you know, we feel different, right? That llama has a haircut, He's looking good, right? So the, um, I don't know, maybe for some of you, it's a glow up, you know, you're working on a glow up for yourself. But this is a huge change of perspective is basically what this connection needs for me. Maybe it needs you to say, okay, well, do I really like this person? Is this person uh, really serving me in my life? It's going to put you in a space where you can decide here. Do I move forward with this person or do I move away from them? Okay, but yeah, I feel like what this needs most for me right now is to, you know, in the Page of Pentacles is also about planting the seed for something new, right? So some of you might decide, you know what, I don't want the stress of this relationship anymore. I want to make a different choice for myself. I want to go into a different direction and focus on me right now, right? Maybe for some of you, the answer is moving on or working on yourself, focusing on yourself, right? To see maybe what these underlying emotions or feelings. I mean, some of you could quite literally be bored in the relationship or just not happy, okay? Feeling indifferent towards the person and you don't really care. You're just like, get me out of here, <laughs> you know? Let me let go all of this stuff that I'm holding on to. So I want to, because the Fool is also about a new beginning, right? Your new beginning for you, a lot lighter, a lot freer. So let's see what this Four of Cups energy is here. And the Four of Cups can also talk about rejection too, okay? So some of you that may have been rejected by this person or you've rejected them, okay? Take it how it resonates. But that can even be you healing, right? You healing from that situation that you've gone through with that person, okay? Let's see. What is this Four of Cups energy here, Spirit? for pile three five of pentacles that is abandonment some of you might even say you know what am i needs are my needs being met with this person right because the five of pentacles to me is kind of like feeling a void or an emptiness um it can also be isolation so maybe for some of you it's a need for you to isolate yourself right now it's a need for you to rest you know especially with the nine and ten of wands some of you may have already gone through a lot with this person, right? Why is the Four of Cups here? We've got the Page of Swords and the Nine of Swords. It's a lot of anxiety. A lot of anxiety. Hmm. I feel for some of you with this Page of Swords energy here, this can be also learning how to communicate. Express yourself. Communicate. Hmm. I mean, the Page of Swords is about gathering information, doing the research. So maybe for some of you, there's a lesson here in this connection with this person. You know, something that you're meant to learn here. Something you're meant to learn. So maybe that can also be taking some time to think about what that is. You know, but yeah, I feel like a lot of what Spirit is saying here is what does it need from you to focus on yourself right now? Think about how you're feeling, how you're doing, how you're feeling, how your emotions at in this connection, why you're feeling unhappy. Um, 
and kind of taking that time to delve into it and really heal and work through whatever this is that you've got here, right? Whether it's from the past or from this connection so that you can bring yourself back to Queen of Cups energy, right? Take the time to nurture yourself or uh, self-love. Work on creative energy, you know? Okay, let's see what else. Let's do this Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Three of Swords. Yeah, so some of you could be contemplating whether or not you want to. Some of your, your intuition is telling you, separate from the person. Some of your intuition is telling you, take time to heal. Okay. Look at that. Ten of Wands again. Right? So some of you could be taking some time for yourself to think like, do I want to take this relationship moving forward? You can even be in a place where if you're just starting to, you're crushing on the person or you guys are just starting to date or something like that. Like I said, this can also be stuff from your past. Your intuition could be telling you, take time to heal so that you can release this energy here so that you can be in a better place. You can feel a lot lighter as you move forward with this person, right? It's like your, your intuition is calling your attention to this energetic weight that you're carrying right now. And so the best thing you can do, right, for this connection or what it needs from you right now is self-care. Okay, whatever that is, healing from the past stuff, taking a look at your connection and saying, is it something that I continue to want to hold on to? Like I said, some of you could be deciding this relationship isn't for me anymore and your intuition could be telling you that, right? So that, again, to me, is delving into your feelings, your emotions. Do you feel like it's worth it to carry this forward? Okay, so I'll leave that up to you because this is a, a general reading. Let's see what this hangman energy is here. This is the change of perspective here. The Knight of Cups in reverse. Some of you may also, mm, some of you may be wanting love and could either be dealing with somebody who is emotionally closed off or you yourself can be emotionally closed off or blocked right some of you could be holding on to stuff from your past and that is creating blockages within you some of you may have a fear of abandonment i'm getting here a fear of rejection and those might be from things from your past that you need to work through healing right because you may even be trying to date somebody right now or in a relationship with someone right now and you have some stuff to shed away from your past, right? If you've ever been rejected in the past, you've ever been abandoned in the past, all the stuff that you're holding on to here, it could be a time for you to work on you so that you can be the best possible version of yourself for this connection, okay? Okay. Maybe it might also help you for those of you that you are aware that, yes, I do have blockages. Yes, I do push people away. Yes, I am afraid of getting hurt, right? We can acknowledge that with the hangman energy and say, okay, I see where I need to heal, right? Your intuition is telling you right there, right? In order for you to move forward, we've got to either heal here or if you're wanting to move forward with this relationship or some of you, your intuition could be telling you, let this connection go. You've already been through enough with this person. Okay. Why is the hangman here? Ten of cups. Page of cups. Yep. Self-love. Self-love. Transformation. I'm seeing the death card at the bottom. Yeah. So this can be personal transformation for you. Right? What does it need from you? Transformation, healing, self-love, so that you can, for some of you, let love in, 
right? Especially if you're, if you've got a lot of emotional baggage or not baggage, yeah, baggage and blockages, I meant to say, you've got a lot of emotional blockages there and you want love and you want a connection to be happy and harmonious and successful and, you know, long lasting, we have to work on self love, we have to be open to receive that love. And that comes through nurturing ourself, right? If we've got some blockages here, that's a need for us to pay attention to us. Do some self love work on emotional maturity for some of you, right? So that you are able to experience this 10 of cups energy. Right? You can allow yourself to be happy and in love and, you know, feel joy and abundant and love is when we can feel good, when we can feel strong and open and receptive as the Queen of Cups is. Okay? Loving, nurturing. We have to also be those things if this is also what we're wanting, right? From someone. We want to be loved. We want all of these things. But if we've got emotional blockages and we have fears of abandonment and rejection and, you know, um, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. it, I just feel like with this pile, there's a need for time and t attention towards the self with this. Okay. So let's go into your Oracle and see what else spirit has for you. What does this connection need from you? Pile three. What does it need from you? What does this connection need from you? Pile number three. Separation and I love you. Maybe some of you, like I said, you could be needing to open up your heart to love. Some of you may be saying, I love you, but I need to go. Mm-hmm. Yep. I love you, but I need to go. This connection is no longer in alignment for me, right? Mm. Some of you, what this connection needs from you is separation, literally, right? Time for you. So go with whatever you know your intuition is telling you. Some of you know exactly what you need to do. Your intuition is right there, right there, right there with the high priestess. She's staring right at you, giving you that guidance right now, right? You know what you need to do. Sometimes we don't want to accept it, right? We don't like it. What our intuition is saying to us, we're just like, ah, not now, later. I don't want to hear that right now. I don't want to listen to you right now. Stop, right? We know. We always know. What does this connection need from you right now? We've got commitment, insomnia, look at that. So for some of you, it's like this situation with this person, it's like there's a lot of restless energy. A lot of restless energy. Hmm. I don't know, when I look at this insomnia energy, it almost looks like some of you are very connected into this person's energy. <clears throat> very connected into it. Present moment. And then we have rekindle here. Okay. Hmm. Maybe some of you are in separation from this person and you're wanting to rekindle things and you keep thinking about it. You know, you keep thinking about the two of you being committed to one another again. And that is something that's mm, making you feel a lot of things with this person. And I would say what it needs from you is to be grounded, right? Keep yourself in the present moment, especially for those of you that are wanting to Rekindle something with someone. What does this connection need from you? New beginning. What does this connection need from you in hiding? The cold shoulder. And we 
have respond? I don't know. Maybe some of you are waiting for this person to respond or they're waiting for you to respond. We have in hiding here and separation. So it could either be that you are needing to put yourself in a place in hiding so you can heal. Um, maybe there's a need for you to open up a little bit more the way this flamingo is just like hiding in its fur. Looks like it's resting, right? That's kind of what I feel like spirit is wanting you to do here. The cold shoulder. I don't know. It just makes me feel like some of you with the Queen of Cups energy here and the Ten of Wands could be a little bit detached from your emotions. You could push people away. You could be afraid to let people in. You could give people the cold shoulder and you could be completely closed off to your feelings. In which case, again, Queen of Cups energy, this is a time for healing, a time for self-love, a time for nurturing, a, a time of opening up to empathy and compassion and love and kindness and gentleness, right? So if you are someone who does have a tendency to push people away, or you can be very cold, very guarded, right? That can be that need for you again. The Eight of Pentacles working on yourself, okay? So that you can, you know, even for some of you that want to rekindle things with someone and you do feel like you just need a little bit of time for yourself, you know? Maybe some of you quite literally have given someone the cold shoulder and this is Spirit saying, write them back, you know, like message them, write them back, tell them you love them, you know, but maybe separation is something that's needed right now for some of you, just a time to just be free and, and, um, let go of some baggage, do some healing. You can come back a, a stronger, better version of self for some of you. Okay. Um, what else? Hmm. Okay. I think that's it, pile three. So that is all that I have for you. I do hope this reading was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next one.